Come on, keep going. Let's go over by the fire where it's warmer. Silly. You're gonna fall in walking on the edge like that, dummy. Look at that, mommy's got the fire going. Just like the fireplace at home. <laughs> Except it's open, so don't stick your nose on it. I took them this way. Good. And this way. But see, they look much nicer like that. Much nicer. As Anchor Girl explains her beautiful <laughs> photos that she took with her phone, her first official fire at, at the boat at Boogaboo. And we even got the little uh, tiny bush cat out here with us today. His second day back on the boat for the 2021 season. And he has spent pretty much the whole day inside sleeping, or at least on his bed, still trying to remember where he is and all the fun he had last year. Are you coming over to me, silly willy? So as no, you can I'm see, gonna wrap myself around the pole. That's okay. <laughs> well, at, least, at least we'll know where you are. <laughs> you little tiny? Yeah. Refamiliarizing himself with all the smells. Wasn't outside here too much last year. But he's been doing a lot of outside time at home. So it's good for him. Right, silly? Just don't knock over my beer. So this is a uh, the Sunday of our long weekend, of our May 2-4 long weekend. And I spent uh, today basically working on this. Yesterday I put the new fire, or sorry, new barbecue together. And today I was just uh, situating everything and cleaning it up and getting it all set. And like I said, yesterday, sorry, Friday, I cleaned the boat. We cleaned the boat. Yesterday I washed the outside of the boat uh, thoroughly. And yeah, just trying to relax, just trying to take in this beautiful long weekend. Tomorrow is our last day of the long weekend, which is okay. Hopefully, I can sleep in a little bit past 7:30 tomorrow if I'm lucky. And then we'll maybe bring the dinghy over and put it up on the uh, on our davits. Well, it continues to be a spentabulously gorgeous day and I'm going to take advantage of uh, this weather and I'm taking the uh, dinghy do over to the Boogaboo and I'm going to I'm going to bring it up on the swim platform for the first time. I'm not sure I'm going to film that for you guys because, you know, it, it might be a little bit embarrassing. So I got to get my technique down first and then, uh, but I'll show you what it looks like on the swim platform and then maybe another time after I've giving it a couple of goes I'll film it I'm thinking I'll throw up the drone and get a, a wide shot of that but like I say in the meantime it continues to be an, a, a stunning spectacular day Now, as long as we can get it up here. That's what she said. <laughs> it'll be good. Do you want me to pull this one? Well, let me see if I can do this one. Okay, well, I have to come out. I guess I can't do it from back here. <laughs> One, two, three. 
So look at that, that went a heck of a lot easier than Anchor Girl and I had anticipated. We were fearful that it might be uh, really heavy to lift it up. But no, that worked uh, spentabulously. So what I gotta do now is just figure out my ratchet tie down spots. I have uh, actually four ratchet straps, <laughs> which will be overkill, but I doubt I'm gonna put all four on. But I'm just gonna see uh, what my tie down options are gonna be and then throw the cover on it and that should be good. I might wash the bottom because it's a little scummy from sitting in the river for the last two weeks. But uh, yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. Awesome, very inspiring, very happy about that. So that is how it's going to sit. I have it now secured down. I got a ratchet strap in the front. Let me see if I can zoom in there for you. So I got one firmly uh, ratcheted down there and that is hooked up to those little eyelets that I put in if you uh, saw my last video of how this uh, was all contrapted and put together. And then there's one more of those ratchet straps at the back tying it down. I'll just come around the back real quick, see if I can get a shot of that for you. This one here is running from the transom down again to that eyelet. And uh, I'm gonna do one modification, that's gonna be next week and I uh, have to bring my zippy tool and I have to, I don't have to, but I'm going to, I'm going to notch out this davit arm simply because the way this hull is configured, you can see there's like a little V, like a strake running here and one on the other side. So uh, the, the bottom of the dinghy isn't sitting like in a positive seat, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to bring my little zippy tool. I'm going to mark that out and then I'll notch those two little V's, these little guys here, one on either side, and uh, then it should sit a lot more secure. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere, especially with that ratchet strap, but it would be nice to be able to, you know, pull it up into position and have it go, dunk, dunk, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if I can pull it up and have it sort of seat properly, kind of lock into that position, that would be, uh, it will make my mind a lot easier. So I'm gonna do that next week and I'll show you what that looks like. So now we're just doing the uh, seat test. Hey, I don't get your feet off of that dinghy. Your feet are on my dinghy. See, we still got lots of room for a chair and an ice cold one. And Anchor Girl's the only one that's relaxing and I'm still working on her boats for her. <laughs> So again, folks, before you ask, if you're new to the channel, this is a swim platform ultra uh, platform extension. And if you look down at my how I did it YouTube videos or playlist, I should say, you will see my full installation of this. And this has been up till now our favoritest upgrade that we've done to the boat. And now the davits, right? So this was our first number one, but this is gonna be, I think, equally our favorite right. to have the dinghy on board uh, with us again. You're gonna be able to not have to worry about uh, towing it or dragging it or anything else. And it can go with us everywhere we go. Georgian Bay, Trent Severn Waterway, out in the middle of the lake, whatever. It'll be awesome. It'll be great. Very, very happy to have all this.
So there it is with the cover on, as good as it's gonna fit. Um, like I say, it's still pivoting it a little bit, and so I'm apprehensive to step out onto it because it's just bounced a little bit. Um, but whatever, we'll figure that all, all out. I will show you how I'm gonna notch those spots out in a subsequent video because I just wanna get this one out right now, and I'm not quite sure when I'll be able to do that and share that with you. So here we are. Like I say, bottom line, very happy with our dinghy davits, extended davits, and boogoo doo. We're set to go. Okay, my friends, we shall see you on the next one. Cheers.